My wife is uh, in town, but not at the show. What's that tell you? All right. Um, oh, she's she's a she's a you know, not to be sentimental, but she's a real dick. She. Um, <laughs> No, I love her. I mean, I think you need that in your life as a man. You need a hilarious asshole, not a jerk. My wife is a hilarious asshole. Like, I realized that recently. Guys, you remember that dude you grew up with that would flick you in the nuts and you would laugh? Does that make any sense? You're like, <laughs> look, why did I laugh? You just flicked my balls. I married that guy. I married him. She just says mean shit that makes me laugh. Like, don't get me wrong, she's wonderful and loving, but occasionally she just gets a, just gets a stick in that's so good. God, she's the first woman to ever call me bro. Like, I don't know why that burns, but it does. You know? Like, ladies, if you want to piss a dude off who's an asshole and he's, like, yelling at you or something, wait till he's done and just be like, what else, bro? Like, it'll just sting. And she picked the right time to say it, too. I was like, hey, we got, like, a... Half an hour until we go to that party. Want to have sex? She's like, Psh, on my period. Sorry, bro. Ha it's like a good hard left. I did not see coming. We were having dinner with another couple that I didn't know. I'd met them that night. And they're like, so you guys going to have kids? Or my wife's just like, I don't know, looking at me. Kind of want a kid with a chin. I'm sitting right here. I'm right here. You vicious asshole. God, I love you. My name is Matt Bronger. She calls me Fat Donger. That's for real. <laughs> and in public, just out, just to see how people react. She yelled it across an Ikea once. Donger! Fat Donger! <laughs> this guy next to me is like, your name is Fat Donger? <laughs> like, uh-huh, and just walk away. <laughs> just let the legend grow. And they say marriage is about compromise. I don't know, I think it's more about you know, maybe learning to love what you hate. Is that <laughs> the same, different? Because my wife is a Patriots fan. And hear that, hear that? You guys are Hatfields and McCoys. It's always like a couple woos and a couple muttering, you know, fuck that. <laughs> they are polarizing. I don't care, you know? I don't hate them. I just grew up in Portland, Oregon. We have a basketball team. The end. And a soccer team. But does it count? I'm trying, but I don't know. Like, Portland couldn't handle a football team. You understand? We're too soft. One injury would be like, we're done. Call it off. We're done. He's hurt. Enough of the madness. Let's get high and drink craft beers and talk about our feelings. I can't. I can't. I can't anymore. I can't go to work this week. I'm, I'm hurt. Not as bad as him, but I, I feel his pain. I don't know. Like, she's a Pats fan. If I say that she's a Pats fan when I'm in Boston, I don't pay for a drink the rest of the night. Anywhere else, it's like I showed my belly and there's a swastika, like, carved with a knife. <laughs> it's a football team. Relax. 